Hi, Verna. Um, just taking a look at this. Um, your color one is definitely much more bold than your black and white one. Um, there's quite a bit of detail in this flower. I almost wonder if you found... Let's see, let's zoom out. It really does kind of disappear a little bit. It's almost too detailed of a flower. I would suggest maybe finding a little bit more for a logo anyway. I'm not saying that it looks bad. It's just for a logo, it's a little too detailed of a flower. Um, if you're looking for more of like a sunflower type shape, I mean, I would almost look up um, sunflower icon um, and find something that's kind of simple. And maybe you were wanting it to be a little bit more intricate, but honestly, it's just not going to size down as well if it's super intricate. I would say going with something like this or um, even this is too intricate with the lattice work in here. Um, or something like this, super simple. Um, or like this, even this one's actually perfect. Um, you know, we could save this to downloads, bring that into Illustrator, um, do a file place, um, bring that sunflowered PNG in, click and drag it in at the size we want it. Um, there is an image trace button over here if you are in Windows, Workspace Essentials Classic. Um, you can also obviously bring up the image trace. Um, where is it at? Right here. Image trace panel. Um, this is on black and white. That should work pretty well. If we preview it, it'll show us what it looks like. Um, so click the preview off to be able to trace and then push expand. Um, and expand will create, will actually create the anchor points. If you don't push expand when you image trace, it's a two part process. Expand is, is necessary. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe something more like this, even though I know this might look plain to you, this is going to, as far as the logo goes, this, this kind of idea is going to print a little bit better. Um, of course, with the V and the J overlapping, you know, you might have to put like a white stroke um, around the letter forms. Um, you can open up the stroke panel to get more options, and you can actually set the align stroke to the outside, which will look a little better with this particular font face. So I suggest doing that if you add a stroke, and maybe even make the stroke more like a two point, so that it's a little thicker of a line. Um, and that way, you know, you won't run into as many problems with the line being too, too thin or something like that. Um, and with this, with this shape here, the Montana shape, I like this, but I almost wonder, again, getting a more bold shape in there. Um, so like a silhouette, you know, we, with logos, we need to keep it really... I don't know how to spell silhouette. <laughs> um, we need to keep it really basic. So, I mean, like getting something like this and doing an image trace on that and using that instead, or even one that's even more simplified, um, a more simplified shape, because this one is actually really quite detailed in its execution. Um, so finding even this one might work. You'd have to fill it in with black. Um, it does look a little clunky though, that one does. Um, this one's not bad. This one's a little bit more simplified. Um, so something that's not super detailed, but still looks like Montana, obviously, is good um, to do an image trace on and add down here. Um, and then with your thicker stroke that's aligned to the out outside of the letter forms, um, that would work. I would use a little bit thicker font with the art teacher as well. Um, and gradients, uh, gradients are okay, but just um, just be careful with gradients because they can be hard to print in logo design, um, especially if you're printing. They can be a little tricky, but you know I'm not going to restrict you too much on this beginning project. But I do think making these a little bit more bold. I'm not sure. I think you might be in outlines mode <clears throat> on this, and it's not looking quite right. Um, Uh, yeah, I think 
feel okay so click on view click on preview I think you're in outlines mode let's see hold down the control key and click on the eye in your layers menu view preview on CPU Let's see. Let's go back in here. Sorry, I'm spending so much time on this, but um, okay. Yeah, you are. I didn't really fix it. Let's see where the layers at. I don't know if your layers are here. Just a second. Let me look this up. Yeah, if we go to view. Um, or actually you could do command or control Y on your keyboard to get out of outlines mode. Um, so if you will need to get out of outlines mode, just do control Y on a P on a windows or command Y on a Mac. Um, and then you can see it regularly. I, the same thing for goes for this one. I do like the placement of all of your elements. I just think maybe add a stroke to the V and the J and then a more simplified flower, more simplified um, state shape. Although I do like this shape, maybe you can just use the shape builder tool to create, um, you know, a filled in shape and then, you know, just change the um, art teacher font to, uh, we can do it over here to white. Um, actually, let's ungroup this because this is grouped together. I'm going to command Z. So we're back at black. I'm going to ungroup this text and then I'm going to click and drag to get the, all the art teacher selected. And then I'm going to push shift to deselect my shapes underneath. Um, I just want to have just the ART teacher font here. So let's see if that works. And then actually let's add a stroke to it too. Let's put a white stroke of 0.5 around it maybe. Um, and see, it, we're losing some of the, the middle of the E with that but it it's a little bolder at least and then we can still add our our stroke around um around here of you know maybe two and we need to go in here and change this to a line stroke to outside um so maybe maybe you can keep the same shape you just need to fill it in and you can use the shape builder tool and just click down to create shapes on the inside but yeah i think if you did that then you'd be really really doing well and um, actually stick with this Montana shape because it's quite nice. I would maybe think about going with a more simplified, definitely think about going with a more simplified sunflower because if we zoom way out, um, you can kind of see what your logo will look like small. And I mean, art teacher's kind of disappearing, but it's not terrible, but definitely that sunflower is just too detailed. So anyway, I'll let you go at that. Talk to you later.